Hey guys, welcome to or back to my channel. My name is Taya and today I'm doing a get ready with me where I show y'all how I get my everyday full face makeup. And then also I'm gonna show y'all how I did my hair today. And yeah, if you guys are interested, definitely stay tuned. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And let's get straight into the video. So today I'm gonna start with my hair and today I am gonna be wearing a wig. Not today y'all, I'm filming this at night and I'm not going anywhere, but you know, you get the gist. So this is the wig I'm gonna be applying. I have it blow dried. I just washed it and conditioned it and blow dried it. This wig is from Julia Hair. It's a headband wig. No surprise. It's literally all I've been getting but also huge shout out to Julia hair for sponsoring this video so thank you guys yeah so basically what I'm gonna do is apply this wig I'm gonna speed through it but I'm gonna kind of talk to you guys about what I do I did mention in my other video I showed you guys how I applied it it's really the same process headband wigs are super easy to put on they take like literally 30 seconds this wig does come with this assortment of headbands which I'm not really into them but they do give you these it also came with I think two wig caps so I am going to show you guys how I apply it. It's going to be a speed through and a voiceover. Yeah, and I'll have all the timestamps down below if you guys want to skip through this part and skip to the makeup or anything. So keep that in mind. Guys, so I'm starting off by putting my hair in a wig cap and then I'm putting the wig on. It's so easy. I don't use the clips like I said in my last or my recent video because um, it pulls my hair and I don't like that. Um, so yeah. All I did was attach the velcro on the back and then I flipped the band back because it shows the tracks on this wig, um, which I hate <laughs> and I don't like putting on headbands. So I just, you know, covered it up by pushing that thing back. And now I'm just going to go ahead and straighten the wig. I'm using my Timo. You guys can check out my last video to see kind of my review on that. Um, but this is the Malaysian Body Wave in 24 inches. And let me tell you, I love this hair. Like, I love it. I've been using it for probably like a month now, and I love it so much. I've washed it twice, and it's still really, really, the texture of it is really nice. So, if you guys want to check it out, everything will be listed in the description box. And enjoy the rest of the video. So this is how the wig looks. When I tell y'all this is the best wig I've received so far, I'm not lying. This is their body wave, but the waves didn't stay, so I've really just been straightening it. I wish I had like a U-part in this type of wig, or like even a regular wig, I would try to do one, cause I just be not liking this headband look that much. But it's so soft, so shiny, it's really thick too. It's, it's a really good quality wig. So shout out to Julia Hair, I'll have everything linked down below. Thank you guys for sponsoring this video, and let's Let's get into my face. Hey guys, so to start off, I'm using the NYX Bear With Me Hydrating Jelly Primer. And I actually really love this stuff. If you guys love like really sticky primers, this is the primer for you. And then I'm going in with the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. And I think I got the color Espresso. Um, I'll have everything linked down below by the way so if you guys want to know any products that I use please check the description box please everything will be down there um, but yeah I like this brow pencil like I said in one of my other videos the color was just a little bit off for my hair and then I'm using the NYX bear with me brow setter um, to set my brows and now I'm going in with two different foundation sticks so the first foundation stick I use is the Haley's Beauty, um, oof, I can't even read, I think this says Replay Foundation Stick, I got the color 6.50, um, it's a hydrating foundation stick, and the darker color I used was the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Stick in Chestnut, these make the perfect color for my skin to me. I'm, I've never been good at matching my skin, but um, I love both of these foundation sticks. They're amazing, really hydrating, and very skin-like. So for concealer, first you saw me apply the Neutrogena Radiant Cream Concealer in the color Golden. And then I used the Haley's Beauty Revive Concealer Cream in the color Medium Dark. Again, I'm mixing colors because I can never find the perfect color for my skin. Um, and I think these two work really well together. So basically, I just put it under my cheekbone, um, underneath like the sides of my mouth, if that makes sense. Under my eyes, obviously, down the bridge of my nose, on my forehead, and on my chin. And I'm just blending everything out with this Haley's Beauty 
beauty blender and honestly this is the best beauty blender it's better than the original beauty blender y'all hey all i'm doing is blending i wanted to show y'all more of the blending process just so y'all can kind of see it i don't know but yeah just blend everything out make sure everything is seamless And now I'm going in with the Haley's Beauty Retouch Perfecting Powder Loose Setting Powder. This doesn't have a color, it's just obviously a translucent powder. And I actually really like this powder as well. I've been using a lot of the Haley Beauty stuff lately because um, they sent it to me, but it honestly has been working really, really well. And I like to set wherever you see like an abundance of oil and then also around my mouth because that's where my smile lines are and then also the makeup like directly around my mouth comes off really easy throughout the day so I just like to make sure that's set in place and then I go in with the powder on a brush and just like sweep it all over my face before I go in and bronze my face with the Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette and I use the color medium to dark and all I'm doing is like bronzing I'm not really contouring because I'm not doing it like to perfection just warming up my face um and yeah I put way too much on my forehead so I use my beauty blender to kind of diffuse it out I guess and then I'm also going to do my nose nothing special I'm actually not really good at nose contours so I just do the sides of my nose and then like underneath And I use the highlighter as blush from the True Complexion palette because it's just dark enough to be used as a blush. And I just diffuse everything out with the Beauty Blender. And then I go under my eyes to create more shadow with um, the bronzer. And then I'm setting my face with the Anastasia Dewey set, my favorite setter. And then I'm going in with the Artist Couture and Conceited highlighter and just highlighting the high points of my face and the inner corners of my eyes and then you're gonna see me do the bridge of my nose and the tip of my nose, also my chin and some parts of my forehead, so you'll see. For the past couple days, I've been using this CoverGirl mascara. It's called Flourish by Lash Blast. And I actually like this one. It really defines my lashes and I can also put more than one coat on, which you'll see me do. Um, but it's not clumpy at all and it really gives your lashes um, a lot of length, which I really like. So for my lips, I almost create like an ombre lip. So first I use the NK Beauty Auto Lip Liner in the color AA14 Choco or Choco, I don't know, I'll put the name on the screen. And then I go in with the Maybelline New York Color Sensational Shaping Lip Liner in the color Totally Toffee number 115. And then after I have the liner applied, I go in with the Milani Lip Plumping Gloss or Keep It Full Gloss in the color Rosy Bronze. And then on top of that, I use the Fenty Beauty Fussy. Then I'm ending this look with one more coat of mascara and then I'm going to clean up my eyelids using a Q-tip. As y'all saw, this is the final look. This is generally my everyday makeup or my makeup that I do when I want to film. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you to everyone who supports my channel. Thank you to everyone who watches my videos and comments, likes, goes and follows me on Instagram, DMs me. Like, thank you guys for everything. And like I said, when I get to 50K, I'm going to be doing a giveaway. So y'all stay tuned for that. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, let me know down below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!